Hi guys, welcome again. It's your girl Seraphic, and today's topic is a typical Austrian. As you can see, we have a typical Austrian here, so we want to talk about what you can expect from a typical Austrian. Like you all know, I live in Austria, so yes, this is an Austrian, my <laughs> friend Thomas, and we want to talk about today what it is to know or live with a typical Austrian. So over to you. <laughs> Typically Austrian, hard topic. Um, yeah, I think in Austria everything is very exact. Yeah. But with uh, with a nice touch. I think if you compare a lot for a lot of outside people, Austria and Germany is almost the same. But that's not the case. Yes. In Austria it's still exact, but there's always a little bit of a play inside. inside so yeah. it's uh, the Austrian way is a little bit more smooth yeah <laughs> but it's still it's everything is on time everything is on point and mm -hmm. people can get pretty pissed yeah <laughs> if something is not working yeah i i i am now in uh, i live now in austria for eight years going on nine and i experienced that austria like like e everything to be exact like if they tell you to bring 10 papers the, that there is no uh, a corner corner way behind it. It must be ten papers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there is no, no eight. There is no nine. There is no way around it. It must be ten. They like protocol. So yeah, this is my experience now. It is studying and everything. And here, everybody mind their own business. I learned mainly my own business here in Austria. <laughs> oh yeah. Some, sometimes in Austria, yeah. uh, mind your own business. This is really if. Uh, Austrian are very sometimes very uh, inside themselves so yeah so if somebody's smiling in the public transport mm -hmm. other people uh, does, does yeah. he know something <laughs> <laughs> is there something wrong so, so yes. yeah like this yeah and if you talk to somebody <laughs> <laughs> yes yes yeah, yes 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 uh, yeah my first week in Austria my first week I experienced so much culture shock that even your neighbors, they know you for a very long time, but when they see you outside, they act like they don't know you. So it was a culture shock for me because where coming from Nigeria, people are friendly. Even when they, when they see you outside, they are even more friendly than in the compound, you know. So it was a culture shock even when I was opportune to work, even in my working place also. Um, I experienced it that even they are nice to you at the working place when they see you outside they act like like they don't know you <laughs> so it was a cultural shock for me like what is wrong with these people and it's always the same it's always the same i the same from the uh, people i live with also the same in the place of work so and another thing i also experience is uh, when in your when you start new in your place of work they will all be nice until one person starts acting like they hate you they will all join that one person <laughs> for me i got there's the act of a ship people not having the mind of their own they, <laughs> once someone one once one person hates you they will all hate you so so it's very uh, funny to me how people can behave like that you know coming from my own place where i come from people have mind of their own like they don't behave like ships even to to the parents like if my mom is quarreling with someone, I cannot join her and quarrel with that person. Except if I see that that person is a bad person, you see? So, but these are the culture shock that I experience here. So, I have, I have one more when you talk culture shock. Yeah. I think, I think it's also important that there's, there's this misconception about everybody is rich in Austria somehow. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, yes. it's true there is, people, people uh, have, have good money here, but it's also a lot of work. Yeah, it's constant work and work, work and, and work, work and, and, work, and you work. work and you work and you work. work. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Every every white person yeah. is not rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's every no white magic person. There is no magic <laughs> money. Alan. There is no there is no tree where you plug money. Yeah. You have to work for your money and in abroad. And so and yeah. Hard hard work. Hard work. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have and to work hard. And the other maybe it's not typical Austrian, but it's maybe also typical Europe. Don't expect that everybody speaks English. Yes, yes, you, yes. You can yes, be on places and nobody speaks English. Speak English, yes. So you need to learn the local language. Yeah, once you get there, once I get in Austria, my first and second week until now, I was learning the language. So because some, when you go to the offices, especially if you are going to a non-English speaking country, 
even when they know how to speak the language, they will act like they don't know because they want you to integrate. They want you to speak the language. Dein Deutsch ist sehr gut. Yeah, Vicky. They will not speak English with you. So it's your responsibility to start the conversation with, with German. So when they now see that you are struggling, they will now tell you what to do in English. Yes, it was a trick that I learned when I came newly. <laughs> so before, because when I was newly, before I, from Nigerian embassy, I would get there and sp start speaking English and they would attend to me. But when I came here, the reverse was the case. And when I start speaking English, they would even act like I don't exist. Like, but I now learned the art of starting to speak German myself. And they will now see how struggling I, I, I am. Then they will now answer me what I'm asking them in English. So effort is everything. They need to see that effort from you. So if you are going to English speaking country uh, with a study visa and all that, that is not your problem. But if you are going to non-English speaking country, if it's possible, when you are still in your country, in your home country, like when I was still in Nigeria, it would be a plus for me to even start learning German when I was in Nigeria. So yeah. So yeah, do you have any other uh, 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 contr uh, contribution about a typical Austrian? I mean, we could go on forever, I think. Uh, yes. uh, but right out of my mind, I think we have covered an, a nice section of typical Austrian. Of course, there are also other topics that are maybe more serious. Yes, to talk about. Uh, uh, especially if we talk about politics, it's more mm. serious. So we are not going into that in today's topic. We just want to talk about basic things, basic experiences when you go to non-speaking English country. So before we end this video, I want you to tell a one word in German. Then I, I will also tell one word in German, one sentence in German. Um, ja, es ist schön, mal auf deinem Kanal zu sein. <laughs> ja, es, äh, das haben wir lange Zeit geplant, diese Video zu machen. Und es freut mich, dass wir haben das geschafft. So, Endlich. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Please continue thumbs in up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment on the comment section which country you are and what your culture shock was. Let's keep the video interactive. See you again on my next topic. Bye.